Hi guys, in this tutorial, we'll learn how to create realistic lips using Blender 2.8. So far, I've sort of uh, sculpted in a basic shape outline for the mouth. But if you watch the tutorial on the realistic proportion sculpting for the human face, I think there's a few videos behind in this playlist, you'll see how exactly how I sculpted this. It's purely I just took a crease brush and I just sculpted in like this detail and I, I made sure to make a sort of like a M shape because that's the kind of shape that a closed lips tends to make this kind of M shape but I'm also going to deviate a little bit differently from the proportion is I'm going to just move this entire mouth down just a tad I just think it's getting in the way of the nose a little bit too much so I'm just going to move it down to be sort of like halfway between this but, but a little bit higher If you want to make your character smile, you can go like that. If you want to make it a, like a stationary pose, I'd go like this. In terms of how far you should make your lips go, it's generally up to about where the, the iris starts. So maybe I just move it in a little. Somewhere around about there. Okay. And also when you create the lips, you need to make sure that you get this sort of like, you know how you have a tuna can? The, the teeth will wrap around this that sort of tuna can kind of a shape. So you're gonna make sure that your mouth area sort of has that tuna can kind of a shape, that it goes around. It can't be flat. If you're a beginner and you find that your lips don't look great, it's probably because this mesh over here looks quite flat. So in this case, I do have a flat mesh. I need to change this and make it look a little bit more round. And so one thing I need to do is, of course, I need to smooth these areas over here. like so and to make it more roundish what I'll do is I'll go to the grab brush and from the from this sort of bottom kind of a view let's just drag it out and make it more rounder so move this back further like so bring this forward until you have this sort of a, a round shape Okay, so it's already it should already start to look like lips once you curve it in. By the way, when you draw in lips, say when your lips to go from here to here, what you do, well, let's make them that a bit more clearly. What you want to do is um, you want to take the crease brush and make sure that your crease brush is large enough that it, it covers the top part of the lip to the bottom part of the lip like this, and then you sculpt it in. You sculpt in the lips make a nice M shape, like so, okay? So that's pretty much all there is to it, okay? Other than that, you also have to make sure that you have this uh, rounded tuna can kind of a shape, like it goes around. It should not be flat. Uh, so, oops, let's go to the grab. Oops, G to go to grab. And let's move this back and move this one a little bit up. No, that doesn't look right, so let's just smooth this. Okay, and at, towards the end, just drag it down a little bit like that. Just tends to add, add in a little bit more realism, like so. But that's not where the lips will be, it's, it's just a little crease over there. So it is generally tend to be used for an older male. Okay, so once you have this kind of a shape where it sort of goes around and you've sort of creased it to about the height of your lips, what you then want to do is, again, using the crease tool, hold down control and pinch out another kind of an M shape that goes up and down like that. So now you're pretty much trying to create the top top lip. So you, you may need to do this a few times just to get it right. So just go like this and then crease it. But do most, most of the creasing towards the top, not towards the end. I don't really like that much either. So I need to practice this a few times until it looks right. Yeah, I think that will look better. Perfect. So I think I like that one the best. For the bottom lip, I don't tend to pinch it too much, but just very lightly. Just go like that. 
okay? Just ever so lightly. I can do. Uh, it is looking quite flat over here, so let's just go ahead and repair that by just dragging this out until it looks a bit more rounded. Oh, of course it shouldn't look, this depends on you, but it, maybe it shouldn't go as past the, the top lip. The top lip should generally be further than the bottom lip. As you may have noticed, I'm mostly just using the grab and the crease brush to shape out the lips. Pretty much I haven't really touched the other tools yet. That's looking okay. Just some quick anatomy 101. When you first crease in your lip area, if you go for male lips, try to use a smaller brush size as you'll get more smaller lips. And if you're creating more female character, just go for something a little bit big because then you get those more voluptuous looking lips. So in this case, I'll just go for something that's a little average. Caucasian lips tend to be a lot more smaller and African lips tend to be a lot more fuller, a lot more bigger. One of, one of the best places to study all this is really just going out in the field and just observing people or reading some good anatomy books. You, you tend to learn a lot of info just from looking at anatomy books. In terms of the lip shape, I think that's good. Quite happy. Maybe I might just go ahead and hold down control and crease this area a little more. But in terms of everything else, I'm quite happy with that shape of the lips. And I might call it good. I'm good with that. Another thing we need to do in terms of the anatomy of the lips, we need to have this little divot over here. I'm sorry, I don't really know the anatomical term, but all I'm going to do is just use a clay stress brush. So a little bit different brush that we've been using for the lips so far. So let's increase the brush size and just hold down control and cut in this little area over here. So, oops, sorry. What you want to do is make it a little thinner at the end, but more wider towards the bottom. Okay, so in this case, it's actually a lot bigger than that. You can go relatively deep, That's that, that it almost seems unrealistic. But then you can hit the S key and just smooth it all out. Smooth it out some more. And then go to the clay strips brush and then keep doing it again. Hit the S key and smooth it again. And here. Actually what I'll do is I'll go to the clay strips and I'll also cut in a bit more of a length. Over here and then just uh, go to the clay strips, cut all this area over here. Yeah, so I think that's looking nice. This is realistic. So if you tend to look at the mirror, you tend to find that you have this little divot thing in your in your mouth area. Just adding that there tends to improve the realism. Okay, I'll also go ahead and use a scrape brush and I'll just uh, scrape, oops, sorry. I'll just scrape this because generally this area is a bit more flat rather than curved. So let's just scrape this area over here. Shift C and just draw in another crease like this. Now that crease is too sharp. It's got to be a little bit bigger. Nope. 
closer to the lips. Okay, and then let's go to the clay strips and let's just add in a little bit of fatness over here. And then let's go to the smooth brush, just lightly pat this area over here. What we'll also do around the lips, we'll go to the clay strips and just add in a bit of fatness around here. And then let's go to the smooth brush and just smooth that area over here. Just under the lips, there's a little bit of a muscle thing that's going on over here, but let me first go to the clay strips and just shave this entire area down over here. Okay, so let's just smooth that. And there is a little bit of a muscle that goes over here in this kind of a shape. So let's go ahead now and hit S to smooth. Should get something like that. Okay, let's go to Shift C. Let me just lightly just draw in the chin a bit more. Accentuate the chin chin's features, although it's not really part of the lips or the mouth. So generally when you sculpt, it's always good to take into account your surroundings. Because it can it, it can actually help to improve the realism of your of your features overall. So let me just add in a little divot like this. Uh, I think that's, that crease is a little too strong. Let's just be a little bit more general. If you want, you can also add in this this man chin thing like this. If you want a bit more mus, if you want to increase the muscularity a bit more, go for a man chin. In my case, I think I'll leave it leave it without it. Yeah, I think that's looking good. Uh, for the little little creases you see on your lips, the small little lines of skin that you see on your lips, for that kind of detail, I will do that in the polishing part of the video. This is purely just to get the shape of the lips. So in this case, I think the shape of the lips is nailed down, but uh, to improve the um, like sort of the anatomy of the lips even further, if you watch some drawing tutorials, they always tend to draw in these sort of, first of all, this sort of love heart shape, like, like this kind of a love heart shape. They tend to accentuate this form over here. And then they also, like so, and then they also tend to have a bit more volume going over here as well. Just not all the way to the end, but over here. Okay, so if I go to the smooth tool now and just smooth everything out. We have something like that for the lips. And for the bottom parts of the lips, what the drawing books will tell you is to draw two footballs, like so, this kind of a shape. So, we'll try and bunch them up a little closer. And then we'll go to the smooth brush and then smooth it out. Let's use a crest to wash again. Okay, and let's go shift C and let's just crease this part here. that looks like that.
I think the lips are going too further out from the eyeball, so if you want you can uh, adjust that by moving the lips a little bit in. Let's move the lips further in. And we'll also make the shape of this one a little bit wider. And this one a little bit higher. Okay, I think the lips are pretty much good to go now. So if I look at that in smooth shading, we can go ahead and just smooth this bits out a little bit, I think. And we should see and just tighten out those corners a little by hitting control. Smooth this out. I think at this point we can call this one good. Uh, also, let's move this part of the mesh a little bit in like this. Something like that. And I think that's looking good. Uh, sorry, we might just move this part a little higher. Generally, the upper lip tends to be smaller than the lower lip. So that's another thing to keep in mind as well. Okay, so let's move this one down somewhere like that. Alright, so that's it. We now have completed our lips. So in this case, we have our finished eyes, our finished nose, and our finished lips. And our character's face is really starting to take some good shape now. We will do some final polishing to really add in those really crisp details. But for now, we're starting to see our character come to life. In the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and give our characters ears. And we'll also need to finalize the character's neck and torso to finish off the, the main character. Before we go ahead and add in those real details to our character, once we've done that, we can then start to um, really go deep into the details of our character and really push it to the next level. But I don't think we're still ready yet. We still need to add in those other parts of the character before we can get to that. Some little bits of tweaks and adjustments I can make. I obviously can can do with smoothing this. If it's still looking quite pointy. Just go ahead and add in a, a, a clay strips brush. Draw in some details like so. Then go to smooth and then smooth it out. Just to clean the mesh a bit. Same with this area. I think over here I might also go in and just smooth in this area. Okay, I'll also go ahead just to fix up the anatomy a bit more. Another thing that's more quickly we're going to fix up the anatomy, just let's just move this part in. Oops, sorry. This entire area in so we can have our eyebrows have a bit more of a, some space. Something like that.